Hey YouTube, Adopted Mike here, and this video is kind of an update to one of my other videos. The other video that I'm updating was about the EVGA Power Boost adapter. So basically, this is what it is, and I'll put a link to the other video down there in the description. So this basically takes 12 volts from the Molex and uh, gives it to the PCI Express bus. Um, basically, there's you know the power on the bus there can be sometimes it can there's too much can be drawn and this will balance that out by just giving power instead of taking power so it comes in handy uh, to limit how much power the 24 pin is pulling I've seen and heard stories of uh, it burning that 24 pin if if too much power is being drawn on the motherboard so this is one way to ease the stress on the motherboard by just making another connection to give more 12 volt power. So basically what I have here is this is my folding at home computer and it's running these uh, two GTX 460 two win cards. So there's four GPUs between the two cards and I have the power boost underneath this card uh, on the uh, next PCI Express slot. So you can't quite see it, but it ties back in there to a Molex co uh, connection. So basically, like right now, it's not doing anything. Um, I control it remotely, and then when I want to do folding, I uh, kick it up, and it'll fold away like crazy. And uh, this way, it allows these GPUs to get their full power without taxing the motherboard. So I'm going to go ahead and ramp it up now, and we'll get it going. Okay, so now we have it folding. It's been folding for a few minutes. You can hear the uh, fans on the GPU have spun up to, um, well, according to the software, they're at 100% fan speed. And I can hear that I've got a failing fan, actually. Um, so, well, I'll have to get that replaced, because that's making a terrible ticking noise. But anyway, that's kind of what this will do now, is it'll fold away and I don't have to worry as much about taxing the motherboard too much with these two cards pulling all that extra juice. So anyway, that's my update and uh, on the EVGA Power Boost and a little bit of a folding at home update as well, two kind of two videos in one. So anyway, as always, thank you for watching.